Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, where in the last episode we were giving Mercurio some morphine bottles, we beat up a doctor who was trying to attack us with a severed arm, you know, just the just usual basically. This time we're gonna go down to the beach. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and raced him in opposite directions. Oh, what could you have possibly Eric. seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about rain. three years ago up in Malibu. I was guy on the beach. But like, I don't know, an animal attack. Shark bite? Nah, I've seen shark bites. This was something different. Whatever killed him, the head was missing. Stop doing that. These huge slashes. Mother, but bullshit. Be too pleased. No, no. Guy was Mother, literally slashed to ribbons. Worst part was I went into the meat wagon. I was watching me. I swear on my badge today there was something just out of sight. For a split second, I let my head run into the squad car and get the hell out of that place. To this day, it makes me wonder what's really out there. <laughs> Maybe it was a werewolf. Woo! All right, all right. Or a vampire. Woo! Forget it. See, this is why you didn't get invited to Hernandez's wedding, Ted. Yet, yeah, Ted. Vampires don't exist, man. All right. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Uh. Ah! The demon who broke the fleet footed guard. Those men you are looking for. So, you see the twisted strings of my tomorrows. Speak more. Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Well, may the moon light your twisted path, Shadow Seer. Farewell. You were wooden stake. Let's take a look around here. Sir, can I go from here? Sir? No? Go ahead and walk on away now. Okay. Not sure what we just found there. Might have been a remaining bug, or probably an issue due to me having the unofficial pledge and then some modifications on top of that, which might just ruin the stuff. Uh, I guess this is the place where this murder happened. Oh well. Septic killing was extremely brutal, vicious, and beast like. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured out about that. Anyway. Speaking of mods, if you've played this game before, you might have noticed that the music here is a little bit different. Uh, I hope uh, that uh, the music that I've changed out for other music uh, gets me around, you know, uh, claims for. Uh, for well copyrighted music and all that, uh, but we'll see when I upload. Fingers crossed. For the time being. Oceans uh, Hello. E e evening. Why are your words shaped so strangely? It's n n nothing. Uh, you seem to shrink from my shadow. 
No, 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 no. I, I have a spe speech problem. S oh. so sorry. You started like a strengthened soul. Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? Oh, he walks among us playing his ancient game. Huh? You mean he's around here? Where? And, and what game is he playing? I, I really need to find him. Why do you seek the Dark Father? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Well, you need only the holy stake, of course. Okay, but first I had another question. Um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Yeah, but you can transfuse the blood of a one-horned horse. A unicorn, you know? Unicorn blood? Exactly. We're walking myths. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'm gonna go get some money. Um, uh, come back in a little while. Well, I might also do some special rubber to bring your teeth down. <laughs> uh. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. Uh, sorry. Uh. I will cast no shadow on your flame, little sickling. You mean you ain't here to run us off? No, but it's a pity to be trapped within invisible walls. We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone's sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Who's the hunter and why? Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, hell, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts. The mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Whose clan blood is that that runs in your veins? Clan? <laughs> See, I've heard all that before. And, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. So how did your blood go from thick to thin? I'd just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's... Well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Ah. Uh, the flower girl. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone and... Well, tell me your tale, little sickling. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Is your flower dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. So does the thin blood flow for you all? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. Well, perhaps I can delve the mysteries of your thin blood. I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Well, secrets hidden from you may show themselves to me. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. The only one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids gloves with them. They've had it rough. All right, so where might I find thin little secrets? Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. All right. Wild children of the night, bloodthirsty and damned. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Well, I'll return if I learn anything of your thinness. Um, 
By the way, you guy, did you did you did you arrange the money? Shh. Mayhem, bro. Uh, well, get the money. I'll get the holy stake and the unicorn blood. We shall meet later. For now, let's go back to the diner. Figure out this thin blood mystery. Mm, thin bloods. Um, basically, when it comes to vampires, the most important thing about them is what generation they are. You know, there were some the original vampires, and then the further you get removed from them by being sired from them, or if if you were only sired from from someone who was sired from them, basically you move down generations. Like an average vampire might be in somewhat like the. 8th, 9th or so generation, some of the really old and powerful ones might be 4th, 5th or something like that. And um, the Thin Bloods are basically the result of when someone who is a very far removed generation uh, tries to sire someone and then they're really very poor imitations of an actual high generation vampire. Because it gets worse and worse and worse, basically. Anyway, I'll talk more about that later in a moment. Let's first talk to the lady. What'll it be? Uh, I see a pale girl in my mind. Have you seen the painted pale girl too? Is that a trick question? Uh, you know, child of a surf and his beauty. Have you seen this couple before? Hmm. Let me think. Oh yeah. About four dozen a week. Hmm. Thin blood, do you know these words? Thin blood. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? From where did the words thin blood enter your brain? I hmm. smell. I know I've heard that brain. before. The pale, pretty flower girl muttered them, perhaps. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? But the flower girl is so close. <sighs> She cannot come, so I'll deliver them. So the booth, which which booth were we talking? Well, that's the that's the bathroom. Oh, she already gave me that. Consists of a photo, a key, and a bail bond. Interestingly. A bail bond. This one was for, was for one Ralph Toten. Okay. A photo of a young man. A message on the back of the photo reads August 3rd, Santa Monica Lily. I see. I see. And a purse. Alright. So Bailborn, maybe our good friend author can shed some light onto the house. All you walk willingly to the eternal feast of the guilty. Every second takes us closer to the time of judge. Hello, LA. Mm, author, mind if I use your computer real quick? If you're new to town or just new to Hey, Slick. Great to see you again. The dead of night. The only girl who will spend the night with you will meet first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Uh, well, Toten, like right? We're looking for Ralph Toten, so let's S to Z. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Toten or... Crawler, you got the first shot at dead tonight. Ralph Toten, bond ridden. Uh, immigration, bond amount 15,000. Collateral car. Red lightning bird, 77. Okay. 
played Guy Coney. No, let's go back to Germania, pal. We'll do take the Euro on these parts. Jeez. Alright. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yachting? So apparently there's a car somewhere around here that might help that, that might help us further. Maybe the key that we got that, that, that we found in the booth uh, works for the car. So let's take a look around. We saw some cars down in the parking lot um, that was close to the um, beach entrance. So let's take a look around there. So we're looking for a red car. No, it's red, but doesn't have a number plate that we're looking for. That one. Guy Coney plates, right. That seems to be what we're looking for. There's a tire iron and a diary. Let's take a look at the di diary. Seems to be a woman's diary. I met a guy today at the asylum. He's so beautiful. Oh my god. His name is Rolf and he's from Germany. European men are just so classy compared to boring California boys. He asked to see me tomorrow night. I wonder if he's rich. He looks rich. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow and pick up something that won't make me look like a big fat pig. Can't wait to see him. I think it's getting serious with Rolf. He told me he wanted to give me something very special next week and if it's what I think it is, it's about damn time. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less uptight about this sort of thing. I woke up at 9pm today. That would be strange of itself except I don't remember going to sleep last night. In fact I don't remember anything since last Saturday night when Rolf was over. I woke up late again. I haven't eaten anything in four days. I don't know what's wrong with me. Rolf came over last night. He said the reason I hadn't eaten anything was because I needed blood. He said it was all I could eat now, that I wouldn't feel hungry anymore if I drank some. He had a bag of it from the local blood bank. I tried to refuse, but I couldn't. What's happening to me? Rolf said he's been going to leave. He's going to have to leave soon. He said people are trying to force him out of the country. He didn't say anything about taking me with him. I had to bail Rolf out of jail today. He was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's going to leave. I haven't seen or heard from Rolf since the night I bailed him out. I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. Why did he do this to me? I talked with this guy I met on the surfside until 5 this morning. When I told him I had to go, I felt like Cinderella. He seemed like a prince. I met that guy from the surfside again. I, he has no idea who I am. I brought E, the guy from the surfside, back to my apartment last night. He said he's going back to Australia in a few days. Now the tournament is coming to an end. I don't want him to leave. I've never felt this way about someone before, not even Rolf. He kissed me last night and I couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck, but I drank too much and I gave him my blood to save him. When I explained it all to him, he said he'd never want to see me again. What have I done? I've been able to feed since the night with E. I'm afraid of what will happen. I remember Rolf brought blood from the blood bag. Maybe I can sneak in, grab a few bags and get out before anyone catches me. I see. So maybe he's... she's in the blood bank. Great, let's go back to the hospital. There was a notice saying that there was a blood bank downstairs that we haven't visited last time we were here. So let's do now. For intelligence three, let's get intelligence three. You next up for the needle? Hmm. Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Jack. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? Does the Pope wear a funny hat? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what will it be? Uh, I need to enter this bloody fortress. Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. Well, the dark daughter has given me your blessing. She did, huh? Queen bitch told me never to let anyone back there. I remember her repeating it over and over in that cold, pretentious voice of hers. 
Well, I'll contact Her Majesty and face the truth. Hmm. Opened. Where have my eyes gone to? What? Well, my inner child thanks you for opening the candy store. Also, he's employee of the month, Vandal. Well. Thanks, Vandal. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Let's just take a quick look. Uh. Well, that's locked. That's... That's laundry and that's a pretty pathetic wall. Interesting. sure what happened when the things just started just suddenly stopped recording uh but we're back i it it, it it took me a few minutes to notice but i didn't do much i just found that there was an opening back here but nothing really interesting was going on back there so let's just ignore that uh, i guess here we could go to vandal and then what do we have here Who are you? What are you doing back here? Our reasons are solid and secret. Oh, you here for the special sauce? The bird flies at midnight. I think you want the clinic upstairs. Are you sure you're supposed to be here? I'm no longer here. Oh, there's a computer here. Freezers, but I don't need any help with the freezers right now. Uh, leaves. Did I miss something here? There's a morgue. Well, there wasn't anything particularly interesting in the morgue. Weird. Sir? I think you want the clinic upstairs. I need the word key to the binary box. Oh boy, uh, I can't give that out. You're gonna have to leave. I'm gonna make a meal of your inner liquids, male nurse. Freeze! Uh, maybe, maybe I overplayed my card there a little bit. Let's try that discussion again. So that computer had something about the freezer, but what about the freezer? There's nothing here. Must have been missing something obvious. Oh, there's a keypad back here. I see. Soul draped in rotten tatters and father dances Bone in rock. the dark. Worm laden rain. I see. No, maybe he, maybe that guy can help us with that number. Who are you? What are you doing back here? My reasons are solid and secret. Oh, you here for the special sauce? Yes, and how special it is. Okay, stupid question, Phil. She's in the freezer. Today's code is... Hank, Phil. It's, uh... Moon landing, uh... 1969. Just like the summer. Farewell. Ah, uh, thank you. Maybe that's the code that we need to input in the freezer? So, 
1969. So did something happen or not? Oh. I see. Well, that's uh, that's our little rose that we've been looking for. Let's. Oh, hunger. I need it. A drop of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. Ah, a lost little sickling flower. Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Well, I will, f I will free you from this fox den, little flower. Huh? What? Oh. Huh? You don't look well at all. Oh, oh sweet mother of God! Or well, not, Phil. Also, we weren't supposed to drain him entirely. The heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop, and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've. I've killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? Well, you wore the mask of the beast. Beast? What is that? Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? Well, you're not the darkness you wear. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped, trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but they killed a man. I have to get out of here. Well, are you the beautiful sickling flower? Flower? My name's Lily, if that's what you mean. Well, you're the flower that comes before the F and G. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? Well, uh, I was following the Finbots and he led me to you. I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Mm-hmm. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions, and I did the same thing to E, but I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I, I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. Well, why don't you seek out your, your thin blooded lover? E doesn't hate me anymore? No, he misses you. I'll go see him. Thank you. Well, the path is treacherous as, it lo as is love. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. Well... The secret dies here between us. Farewell. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more! Perhaps I can write the next act in this little blood drama. Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But it's kind of chilly out, and now that my co-pilot's been devoured, I'm flying solo. I need a new body. Find another donor and I'll whip up a fresh batch. <sighs> Where can I find another little bloody bag? The bitch who owns me and this place runs the asylum. Lots of young, stupid blood there. 
Not like the putrid, stinking, vagrant blood we so often get. Don't shed any at the club, though. No, 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 no. The missus, she don't appreciate it. I will look in the house of the shattered. Farewell. Well, apparently he didn't like us uh, letting her go very much. Not, not, not that surprising, really. Uh, you open that door for once, right? right. Let's go. Let's return to E. Tell him that we left Lily out. She probably should be there already. And uh, let's make some additional money on the side by selling uh, the holy steak and unicorn blood to that to that other fella. Let's go to the beach. I'll never forget. Hi. So, how was your thin blooded reunion? This life's been hard on him, both of us. But he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there, as long as we're together. Uh, take what is yours for me, please. Thank you. Let love live in the undead. Farewell. Okay, let's run and never look back. Do you have any of those items you mentioned? Well, I... Hmm. Well, I recommend that you give me the moolah for the magic in advance. Deep of the oh, okay. I guess. Dark Here. Dreaming. The fool's better left broke. Farewell. Tragedy. No, I didn't sell him all these things, but I still got the money because he's such an idiot. Um, I kind of need the money I gave you. Well, time grows as thin as your blood. Farewell. You brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. Well, keep a flower pin next to your heart. We're gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. Well, he has already exited his box, but he has not scared yet his children. I'm gone. Anyway, uh, as the truth say of the group said earlier uh, Mayhem, bro. the people we're looking for concerning the boom boom from a from a curio are up there and we're gonna pay them a visit but we'll do that next time have a good one